it's just gut-wrenching because you know somebody needs help and I mean you can hear it in their voice. That help can be hundreds of miles away, even out of state, all because the 911 call has been misrouted. It's an issue that may begin to affect more of us. Now the service is called Voice Over IP. It's a way to get phone service by using the internet. Well, we did some digging and we found a case where a Texas woman's desperate call for help was misrouted to Franklin. It left dispatchers scrambling. News 2's Joseph Pleasant has the dramatic story you'll see only on two. 911 operators like Franklin Police Department operator Abby Gamble have to be prepared for anything. But a call from a woman struggling to breathe was a first for her. Don't know what's happening. Need ambulance. Do you need an ambulance? Yes, sir. This call was not coming from Franklin, despite what the computer showed. In fact, the woman was in Kingwood, Texas, a suburb of Houston, 755 miles away. I desperately tried to get the correct address. Unfortunately, there was a slight language barrier. You're having difficulty breathing? Difficulty breathing and sweating a lot. While Gamble continued to talk to the woman, her fellow dispatcher, Maureen Culberson, got on the web. It was very stressful trying to figure it out listening to my teammate and trying to figure out what was going on trying to find Kingwood Texas Kingwood police Kingwood fire okay hold stay on the phone with me okay I'm gonna call I'm gonna have somebody call Texas okay the call continues for nearly 30 minutes can you hear it uh, sirens I I I, I do you do good. That's good. That's what we want to hear. What's it like for you as a dispatcher to be in that situation? Whew. Very nerve wracking at the time that it comes in. Your main concern is making sure that they get the help they can. It's just gut wrenching because you know somebody needs help and I mean you can hear it in their voice. The confusion caused by this woman's call could have been avoided. At the center was an error with her address and phone service. That poses an extreme danger to you. Many of you could have the same problem and not know it until you have to call 911. We'll show you why Wednesday on Nashville's News 2 at 10. And Franklin Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2.